this first one is not a joke necessarily, but <laughs> it's not really in the same league of the beers we usually. Do. Although it is probably in the same league as the the beer bong in a bottle. The beer bong in a bottle. Oh, the uh, the Miller Light no, Vortex. It's, it's better than that. And I'm and I'm I'm already clouding your opinion. So you are a little bit, especially, especially because this is the first time that we've been back in the tasting room. It seems like in it's a, been long a little time. while. We've yeah, we've been, been traveling to other places, other yeah. homes, other venues, and since so, the end of May, I think, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah I think I think that's pretty accurate. And there's no extra guest today, so it's just this is old school format right here. And we have an old school brewer on this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And um, yeah, we're back. So what beverage are we about today? A beer, of course. We have to have yeah, a beer. There's going to be a lot of beer going on here. There will be, but that's all right. That's you know okay. why? People love beer, and so do we. That's true. So uh, what what have you brought to us? I have brought us a uh, Henry Weinhardt's Blue Boar Irish Style Pale Ale. Huh. Okay. Yes. Irish style pale ale. You know, ale. sometimes it's just nice to have something in the uh, fridge that will appeal to a mass uh, amount of beer palates, a mass amount of enjoyment, just something cool and refreshing to start off the day with, not start off the day bright and early, start <laughs> off the festivities with, or um, or just something to have, you know, when you're out in the heat. Could you pour it in your cereal? My God, the heat. No, I wouldn't pour that in my cereal. <laughs> okay. So... But it is freshly squeezed. <laughs> Fantastic. Long-time listeners will gather these subtle little inside jokes here. Exactly. They'll, they'll get them. So when I think pale ale, I think a little bit of hops, not too much. Right. Does the Irish in front of that change that at all? I don't want you to exactly tell me. I but, don't. You but know, do you know, know style-wise? No, I don't t- know what that means. Okay. Irish so we're just going to fi- we're just going to find. Yeah, out we're just going to jump right in. Okay. Six pack or twelve pack? What's the price? I bought the twelve pack of this because it was at uh, Trader Joe's, and okay. it's a uh, nine fifty nine actually for a twelve pack. Okay. Good price. Yep. And on top of that, uh, alcohol content. It is a uh, qualifies as a session beer, actually, 4.6%. Very good, because we're yes. coming into football season. The lockout is over. Yes, it is. So now we need these session beers. A, a flurry of activity has a, been going on. It is. And in fact, as we're recording, I have multiple Twitter feeds open right now, <laughs> including our own, but also of NFL-type uh, yeah. things. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, open this one up. I think that even might twist. Maybe it twists off. Was it a twist off? <laughs> I think it does, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. I think it is one of those. Going to pour? Oh, you're, you're gonna, one of those. And you're going to give me the play-by-play. Oh, light yellow. I barely even started pouring that. The color <laughs> of uh, possibly lemonade that you put some honey in? Yeah. It's just, a, it's just your basic... Uh, <laughs> lemonade with honey? That doesn't even make sense. But I was going for color there. Your yellow, for- yeah. Just your basic lager yellow, I would say. Okay. Even though, Even though it's an ale. ale. <laughs> your basic, uh, yeah. They have yellow. ruined the ale and turned it into a lager. Is that that's, what you're telling that's me? That's right. That's what they've done. Okay. Then along comes the aroma. Along comes aroma. Olfactory time. There's a change in the way that you're feeling tonight. <laughs> along comes aroma. No. All right. You just want more singing in our podcast. I was. I was trying to hope for a little bit more. Okay. A little, little more aroma than I thought I was going to get out of that. There actually is yeah. a little kind of light sweetness along with the uh, ballpark, as uh, you like to say, the ballpark. Yeah, that, cause, well, it, it's I don't know. To me, that it takes me to a place. That's that's for sure. So it takes me there. It takes you there, and uh, yeah. All right, taste time for the taste. Yeah, let's do it. And I'm still waiting for it. Oh wait, no. <laughs> It's uh, definitely a search. This is you'd need Indiana Jones to come in here and <laughs> be able to read these, you know, different artifacts to try and find the flavor that's in here. Very yes. little. Yeah. It's just a little sour. Yeah. Would you say that's it? Uh, I would say that's it. <laughs> yeah. It's just not. I mean, it's yeah. it's refreshing. It is. There's nothing wrong with it. Light. Yeah. Just a little light lemon citrus sour on the back, and that and that kind of lingers. It's not heavy. So that's good. Yeah, if you like this, I mean, you, this is especially with the alcohol, you could easily, you know, enjoy a few of these and not become immediately tipsy. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely. You wouldn't even know that you drank them. But uh, it's in the podcast chronology to go from the Belgo, <laughs> the Belgo anise. Yeah, exactly. That we just had to this. Ooh, that's quite. A, <laughs> Ooh, if you're listening back to back, if you're to these podcasts back to back. Yeah. It's quite a quite a difference in flavor profiles. It's, it's jarring. It's, it's night and day. <laughs> it is night and day, <laughs> along with the color and everything that's else. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Every part of that is night and day. Well, for, like I said, for under 10 bucks, 12 pack, it does have a little more flavor than some of your other American lager yeah. ale type stuff. So there's a little bit more there, but yeah, not uh, not a lot. If you're throwing a party and need to you know, get a, a larger quantity of, I mean, it's 
I don't know. Even that's probably. Not I'd true. like to. Uh, you know, you you touched on earlier. You said you know you like to have a beer hanging around that kind yeah. of hits a more a wider throws a wider cloth, Ooh, a wider a wider, a wider spread, net. a wider net. There you go. Yeah. Of uh, over uh, you know a group of people to find out you know things that they like. I want to know who these people are that you're inviting over that would be enjoying. No, I'm just kidding. No, we'll leave we'll leave it at that. Yeah, well, that's it. Because even those people like that do come over usually are more excited to try other things too. They just don't right. want to pay for the other stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah, and it's I guess it's one of those things. It's you know sometimes there's a progression where you don't start out want to start out with something super heavy, but I guess you do oh, want yeah. to start out with something flavorful. And I, I think too because this year was the first year we've had the pool. I thought oh, you know it'll be hot outside and sitting outside. This will just be. I'm looking for something that's just you know. Kind of an inexpensive but refreshing start, and then and then I and then I go from that, and I think, but I want to spend money on things I don't like, and I'm not I'm not necessarily saying I don't like this. I'm just saying that. Be honest. Are oh, you yeah. going to buy another twelve pack of this? No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. All right. Well, head on over to the website at aboutbeverages.com. Check out our tasting notes for this beer, along with where it hits on our recommendation scale. And while you're there, check out uh, everything else that we've got going on. We've a little bit of a redesign on the website I mentioned last time. Drink database, all those fun things are still there. Sign up for our Twitter feed. Sign up for Facebook. We actually just had a, another person sign up on Facebook, which is always good. And oh, yeah. and that person that signed up, I actually also found out not a fan of the vodka. So we're slowly <laughs> growing in numbers. <laughs> not that we won't try other vodkas. That's we'll right. More than happy. We to. certainly will. Maybe we'll finally find or one enter that actually, into vodka discussion. We'd be happy. That's to why do we're that. here at aboutbeverages.com to talk about these things, and that's great. We can agree to disagree. Or you can agree to agree. Yeah. And you'll be right. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>